Yo, what's going on guys? Shake and Bake back and yes today we've got some good stuff A brand new diamond is actually in my team. There is a diamond Sean Marion for the playoffs They dropped him uh, just pretty recently actually like what two minutes ago or something I don't know car was just dropped into my team and I want to check out his stats see what he's looking like man He's not even up on like 2k MT cents or anything. Um, so yeah, he just dropped literally and they also dropped some uh, Amethyst versions of uh, what's called Thunder Players who just got bounced from the playoffs last night. We'll talk about that game in a little bit, but yeah, let's uh, check out this Sean Mary man. I don't even have another Sean Mary to compare him to because I never actually got the Amethyst version, but I heard his shot was pretty nice, honestly, and he usually played pretty well against me and my team online, but you guys can see great driving stats, a nice little fadeaway and hook shot. That's pretty beastly in the post right there. Not the best drop out, only a 79. That's not the greatest, but look at the shooting stats. 95 mid-range that's beastly his three ball is not too bad at an 88 89 open shot three that's not bad at all obviously the off dribble is not that crazy good free throw at 85 and then ball control this guy's got a shoe on him it looks like so it's probably not that crazy and then yeah look at the rebounding man this was a game in which i think he had like 35 and 20 so pretty beastly 95 97 definitely some of the best rebounding for a small forward in the game stat wise and then, of course, you know Sean Marion, a beast on defense. You guys can see he's got great blocking stats, great steal stats, and is just an absolute monster. Yeah, absolutely beastly. And, uh, yeah, obviously a great dunker, and you'll see that by his uh, pretty nice 95 driving dunk. That's beastly. Definitely the best Sean Marion in the game. You guys can see a couple up right now for 100K. What does his uh, what's his badges look like? He's got Hustle Rebounder and then a whole bunch of gold ones. 24, man, is a lot of gold badges. Definitely is. Oh, but that one was badged out. They only have 18. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. I was going to say, 24 is a lot. But I, I do want to open a few packs. Y'all might be seeing. Whoa! Bake! What happened to your MT once again? I know. I splurged. I couldn't help it. I uh, did my, my best to try and complete that Larry Bird set. Did I complete it? No. But we're only a couple cards away, and I picked up some beasts. I'll show you that after. But first... Let's buy a quick little box, see if we can get this Sean Mary. Just give it a shot because, you know, he always, when you, uh, when the first ca ca cards first come out, they like to talk, right? When they first come out, they uh, are at their highest value. So if you pull them, you can make a nice little profit by actually selling them. So why not give it a whirl right here? A 21 pack playoff box where you talk about some basketball and other things like that. And then, yeah, I'll show you guys those new pickups that I got. And hopefully we get some gameplay with them bad boys soon. Definitely on the, uh, uh, the agenda today. But you guys are going to see Joe Johnson right there. And man, let's talk about that dude. He is a monster. I actually fell asleep last night because I had things to do early today. Or this morning, I had to get up at like 6.37. Super early for me. I don't like getting up that early. Um, but I know y'all, most of y'all got school and you got to get up that early anyway. But I ain't been used to that in a while. But yeah, so I had to wake up early. So I didn't get to watch the end of the Clippers game. But I did see the highlights. And oh my goodness, Joe freaking Johnson again. He's been giving them the work. Ooh, a new Norman Powell card. That, I forgot that's one of the new cards that has been added to my team. But, um, yeah. Joe Johnson, he's giving them buckets. And the Clippers are now down 3-2, to two, man, to the Jazz. And uh, without Blake Griffin, eh, man, they are definitely in some trouble. And you should see Chris Paul at the podium when a, a reporter asks him, like, I, I, are they coming back for Game 7? And he's just like, child, please. <laughs> he doesn't say child, please, but he hits him with, like, like, what is you doing? Like, oh no, baby. <laughs> but it's hilarious, man. It really is. Uh, so that's going to be a good game to watch, man. As a few series are about to wrap up, we're getting tons of rubies. Oh my goodness. I forgot these packs are loaded with rubies, but we're getting Norman Powell's. And hey, that new Jeff T. Gark. I don't think, did I pull that last time? I'm not sure. I don't think I did. But sticking with the topic at hand, as I said, I wanted to talk about the other games. I want to talk about the Thunder game. The Thunder, they got eliminated last night by the Rockets. Rockets moving on. And man. Uh, that was a good series. I'm not gonna lie. Even though they lost in five games and people were really hating on Westbrook, it seemed like, I mean, the man averaged a triple double in five games. Pretty crazy, again. But, like, he's definitely a beast. Last night, though, I think it was just a matter of running out of freaking gas. He was gassed by the fourth quarter, and that's gonna happen when you play the entire game. I think that, like, the, the few minutes that he was off the court, his team was like a minus 16 or something. Like, Really, he definitely needs some help. They're going to need to go out and get some free agents, and they are going to have to, uh, I don't know, try and do something in the draft to get him someone to help score, man. They can't score when he's not up there. And that's why I found it so funny when the reporter a couple days ago asked uh, Stephen Adams, like, the effect of what's happening as we get the top right there. No Diamond LeBron this time, but the effect of uh, him not being on the court. And he was like, no, 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 he not, we're not answering that. We have one team, but, like, when you on the floor... Is, is one different, team than when you're not on the floor. <laughs> so 
so yeah, uh, definitely kind of interesting, kind of funny, but yeah, shout out to the Thunder, they had a good season, they definitely did, and Westbrook, uh, again, probably gonna win MVP, probably gonna get a pink diamond in this game, we didn't get, uh, you know, an upgrade version of him once the season ended, which we've been getting, uh, pretty much whenever a player team gets eliminated, we get some pretty good cards from the team, we got the T, and then we got, what's it called, the, um, Amethyst version of the freaking big ass dude from Texas. I'm trying to remember his name right now. I pulled him yesterday. Ja Turner. Oh my goodness, Miles Turner. I have the worst memory. I literally pulled him yesterday. But we got him, and then today we got Steven Adams and Ennis Cantor Amethyst cards. I'll probably show you guys those in a second because I forgot to at the beginning. Man, these packs are just rubies, man. They know them are rubies. But you know what? That's all right. It's all good. I wasn't expecting to pull that Diamond Marion, but it would have been pretty dope. We still got a few packs left. Let's not hold, let's not just throw out our hope, you know? Let's hold on to it really quickly, just for a couple more packs at least. But yeah, I really don't want to open up those Beast packs. Honestly, the odds seem so bad on those. And they usually are on the Brawl packs, whereas these packs just seem much better and they, they've been better to me this year. I mean, heck, the last box we pulled that, you know, LeBron, and at least in these, we, we may not be getting, you know, the diamonds and stuff like that right now, but these aren't that expensive and we're still getting the rubies that sell for 1500 so that's not that bad. Like, I can at least... Make some empty off of this pack opening, which is nice. And we get some nice shoes and badges and stuff like that along the way as well. Two packs left. That's all I'm doing for today, though. Packs don't seem too fire. We're getting a whole bunch of rubies, which is cool again, as I said. But that's not the heat that I need. But uh, the Spurs also did win last night. They take a 3-2 series lead over the Grizzlies, which is a shame because uh, I kind of wanted to see if the Grizzlies could pull that out. Who knows? They still might have a shot. Man, Andre Roberson, he got to hit the free throw line. He got to get to the gym. He got to practice his free throws. That man is... Awful at the free throw line, like, god damn, he terrible. But uh, that is the pack opening, man. He has got to be one of the worst free throw shooters I've seen in a while. Look at all of those rubies. Holy smokes. That is a lot of ruby players, but yeah, I will show you guys um, the players I picked up. Again, I definitely spent a lot of MT because y'all saw in the last video I had like 800k and it's gone, just like that. Before we do that, here's the Steven Adams already down to uh, 19k. Not too bad, nice and cheap for a nice Steven Adams card. It's pretty sweet. Um, check out the quick stats really quickly. Can we do that? Uh, comparing to Will Chamberlain, that's not fair, but we do compare it to the Steven Adams silver card and he looks beastly. Look at them stats, man. Some nice bonuses, nice little post hook. Shot close is pretty nice. Um, the mid range, definitely not there. Nothing at all. Free throw, not the great either. Uh, he's good at rebounding, definitely is, and that's why he should be good at. So 92, 91, that's not too bad. And he's a good shot blocker, 88. That's not bad. Skill is not too bad either. So not a bad budget rebounding big. That's pretty dope. All right, he'll be pretty cheap too, which is nice. Good for a all-time Thunder Squad. We can throw him on the bench, and he'll be a nice little production boost there. But then, yeah, we also did get the Ennis Cantor card, and I'll just give you all a quick look at that card. Lots of content on 2K, man. Some people might not, might not be loving it, but uh, I think that's pretty dope, man, that we got these type of cards. This is actually some pretty cool content. We can compare him to his silver, even though I know he has a gold card as well. I know he has a moment, but I just, I, there's way too many cards to scroll through. I got 2,000 cards. But yeah, he's got a nice little post control, a little bit of post hook and fadeaway. Definitely a bit better offensively than the last, uh, the other card. I think this card's gonna be really nice. Look at his stats, man. 89 for the open shot mid-range, too, which is pretty beastly. He doesn't have any kind of a three ball. Actually, no, he does. 82. Wow. Because I was gonna say he should have a three ball because the gold one did, and he does. Yeah, a little bit. Just not off the dribble or contested at all. But, um, this card looks pretty beastly, man. Definitely does. Got a little bit of post move. He's got a mid-range. He got a three ball. Not too bad. And, uh, again, decent at free throw line. 85. That's pretty nice. And then, wow, look at that. 96, 92 rebound. Good budget big right here. Do not sleep on this card. Definitely will be worth the scoop, I think. And, uh, yeah, for what, 13K right now, 12K? It'll be even cheaper soon. That's a nice card to get, man. I'm telling you. And without further ado, this is what I spent all my MT on. Boom! You guys can see we have four of the diamonds now. Four of the seven. And one of them is the most expensive one in the entire set. Hakeem Olajuwon I spent 500000 for this, which isn't that bad because I saw people buying him for a little bit more than this. I saw one go for 550. I saw one go for 800 a couple. I saw 600. I saw a lot. So 500, it's not that bad. It's, it's all right. It's, it's a lot. Uh, but then again, like, if you look at all these other sets, like, uh, that card was like 300K. Uh, that Jordan right there, that card was 500K. So like, these sets are freaking expensive. The Mellow is 500K. The T-Mac was 500K. So like, 500K for one of the players isn't too bad. But unfortunately, we still have KG, who's like 300K. Drexler is like 300k and Irving who's like 300, 400, 500k so yeah we still have about a million's worth left and I got no MT but I'll probably have to just sell some cards or work the market a little bit or I mean hey if we get some nice pulls from the playoff packs over the next few days that would be nice I could sell those off 
But yeah, we have this Hakeem Olajuwon 10 Hall of Fame badges. That's what I didn't realize he had that many. And when I saw that, I was like, damn, that's that's as many as Barkley does. 10 Hall of Fame badges? I just wanted to try that out, man. Like, that just sounds too tempting to me. So I will get some gameplay with him soon. And then, of course, this George Gervin. He wasn't too bad. I think he was like 80K. That's pretty cheap. And then, uh, yeah, we did get the Carlton Towns for about, I think, 180, maybe, something like that. So not that bad, actually. Pretty cheap compared to uh, some of the other diamonds. And I know you guys want to see these cards. That's why I'm getting them. Honestly, like, I don't even care. It's empty. It's just empty. It can sit there all year long. And again, I'm trying to complete these sets, get the Larry Bird, and then be two cards away from that freaking uh, Pink Diamond Barkley. So, yeah, we're gonna just, we're gonna spend our MT. That's how it goes again. I'd rather spend my MT than spend my hard-earned money, which I'm saving for a house and things like that. So, yeah, I get, instead of, you know, spending hundreds of dollars in this set, we spent $50 yesterday, and that's probably gonna be it. So, you know what? I like that, and I, I think this is a little bit better, but we gotta make our MT. We gotta grind hard, and we have to, uh, get these last few cards, but we will have some gameplay with him up, hopefully later tonight, but I hope you guys did enjoy, and again, we gotta get more Chris Webber game, gameplay, I wanna do an all-time Kings team, and I'll probably do all-time Timberwolves at some point, I gotta pick up the freaking, uh, what's called, the Wiggins for that, definitely, though, so there's cards that I gotta pick up, but I hope you guys did enjoy the quick video, and yeah, we should have another one later tonight, man, definitely pumped, and um, yeah, been enjoying NBA 2K, and I hope you guys have been enjoying the tons of videos I've been giving y'all, we got playoffs tonight, baby. Definitely expect some late night uploads from me after the game, probably. Um, but yeah, should be at least two to three videos out today, man. Peace.